Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today what should we be what we shall be making are these big ball brackets for our friend Matt. Matt is the one that got us the anvil log in the last video which we cleaned up and replaced it with our old one. That is absolutely brilliant, thank you Matt. The method we're going to be using uh, is this big rectangular stock from Keith. Uh, so thank you very much Keith, very kind of you. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy. Right, so go and piss my here. Dad's made us um, make me up a jig uh, to do the. Well, this is going to be the inner side. So, stick this over here. We're going to need a tape measure, please. And we're going to measure. Oh, thank you. We're going to measure five inches in from the edge. About five inches. And we roll it over. And now, when this comes over, we should have about five inches of extra metal here, which we can just bolt into each other, um, so it's nice and sturdy in there. But all we're going to do now is now it's in place. We're going to use the welder, and we are going to weld on on the outside, so along here and along there. We're going to weld it on. And as we forge over, possibly the welds may break, but if not, we could just grind the welds up and pop the jig out, and then we've still got our form with the metal. So we're going to turn this on, it always helps. We've welded up these sides here, just along all the long side here. We're not going to be welding in to the middle here or depth down there because as we wrap it over we won't be able to get the grinder in there so we're gonna so then we'll be able to grind these sides down and the jig will hopefully just pop out Right, so we've got it round the jig there. So now, all we've got to do is try and get that jig out. Shouldn't be too, too bad. And then um, we're going to cut it to length. It's going to be about from here to wherever, about 60 centimetres long. Um, so it should be quite huge, I think. So we're going to grind off these welded parts along here, make it nice and looking nice. And then off camera we're going to make the second one. It's not camera. So um, we've got a piece of me, our hoax, so we've got this other piece here. It's going to be used to put on the other side of the door. So you've got our plate that we made here, the door, the back plate. And it just bolts through both to clamp it together um, onto the door. Um, so we're going to cut them both at the same time.
Right, so we've got the blue dicum here. What we're going to do is we're going to run a line of blue dicum down into one piece. Oh, by the way, we did the other piece. Down the line of one piece. Um, then we're going to see the middle, scrub a line all the way down. Then we're going to say, well, we've got to hold there, hold there, and hold there um, on both pieces. Then we're going to um, probably drill them both at the same time. After that, we've got back plates, as I explained earlier, for both pieces. So we're going to just simultaneously drill um, through the holes on this, drill holes on the back plate. Right, so we're just going to use the caliper. It's 40 and a half. Dimple flat she's <coughs> there. So we need to go 40. I don't know, close enough. Not 40 and a half, it's that. 40.4. 40. Oh, perfect. 44. Four. You get what I mean. Three holes, so one in there to bolt the, those together. Um, one and two somewhere. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to do one. Then we're going to use the vise, which is down yonder. Um, and we're going to put this one. Then the two back plates in the middle, then the one, then the other one underneath all of that, and then drill it all at once, hopefully. Really sorry, the um, battery on our camera ran out uh, in the middle of drilling, so we've drilled all the holes through the piece, uh, the, um, three holes in there, and we've centre punched a point in there to drill a hole, and that is where the padlock will go, so Matt, the person who's making these for has got a massive padlock, so they'll clip in quite nicely. Um, they have just got to drill um, the holes in the ends here, both ends, and then It'll be just cleaning up with a wire brush, um, just cleaning up with this dicum, and then oiling it, and then it should all be done. Right, so we've drilled the hole um, in the end here, they both line up nicely, we've stuck a good sized piece of rod in there just to test it fits, fits nicely. Um, yeah, as I said, Matt um, bought a very big padlock but I can't see the ch um, shackle being any bigger than that hole. So, now all we're going to do is just going to oil it over and then I'll show you the finished project. That'll be it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. It's been very good fun making these two uh, door brackets. They are absolutely mahoosive. I hope Matt um, likes them. Um, so yeah, probably the biggest thing I've ever forged. Uh, that, was quite, um, that was good fun. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Turn notifications on so you do not miss on any new videos. Hope you have a good day. Good night wherever you are and bye-bye.